So you've been hearing about this whole AI photo editing thing for a while now, and you're wondering if it can actually do a good job. And of course, as a photographer, you hold your work close to your heart, so that may be why you've been avoiding trying AI editing, because you assume that AI editing limits your creativity and takes the human element out of your work. But what if AI editing was actually built on your own creative control by learning your own unique style and preferences, and in return, it gave you back time to focus on other aspects of your business? Well, today I'll be editing a full wedding with a Imagine AI showing you guys how it works and how well it works. Imagine is the sponsor of this video, so let's jump right into this. First off, to get started, I have a link for you in the description of this video so that you can get going with 1500 free AI edits. So here I am in the Imagine app. Now, Imagine needs to learn your editing style so that it can correctly apply the right editing to each of your photos. On the left-hand side here, there's a tab that is labeled AI profiles. If you're a beginner and you don't have your specific style nailed down yet, that's no problem. There's another tab here called profile I'll showcase, click on that. You can choose profiles from a bunch of reputable photographers here. Choosing these options will give you a great look on your photos right away. And you can choose a few different profiles and compare them to see which one looks best on your image. You can compare using the sample photos provided or you can upload your own photos. Going back to AI profiles, if you've been a photographer for a while and you have your specific style dialed in, there are a couple ways that you can create your own profile. Click on create your own profile and choose either the light personal AI profile or personal AI profile. There's a preset that you use on all your photos. You're gonna to wanna to click the light personal AI profile here. But if you use a bunch of different presets and custom edits on your photos, then you're gonna to wanna to choose the personal AI profile. This is the option that they recommend. Personal is a better option as you'll get the opportunity to upload a bunch of different photos from different galleries, varying scenes, different lighting conditions. Once you upload 3000 plus images, Imagine will have a lot to work with. It'll learn how you approach and edit each individual photo. It takes all that into account to create a personal profile that will work great across all your galleries. For this video, I'm gonna use my custom The August Color profile that I've already created. Moving on here, click on the Projects tab and create a new project. Not only does Imagine AI edit your photos, but there's also a calling option here. Presumably you've already done the sneak peeks, otherwise known as previews for the project that you're about to upload. You've already gone through and picked your favorite photos from the whole entire wedding day. And now you just need the rest of the gallery to be edited. I find this gives a bit more peace of mind when choosing the calling option here, knowing that you've already gone through the whole gallery and chosen the best of the best. But even if you haven't chosen previews and you wanna go straight into calling the whole entire gallery, as long as you give it specific parameters, it'll do a good job calling the whole thing. So let's try the calling out. So clicking call here, it's gonna give you two options. You can upload via Lightroom catalog, or if you have all your photos in a folder that you haven't made a Lightroom catalog for, you can upload that way as well. I've created a Lightroom catalog, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So I'm gonna add my Lightroom catalog in here. You can name the project whatever you like. I'm gonna name it the client's names. This is a wedding calling project, so I'll click wedding here. It then asks how you'd like to review the calling results. I like to view them as editing previews with my custom The August profile. This gives me a good visual in advance before I actually AI edit them. Next, we're gonna go on to the calling preferences. Here's how I have it set up. I want it to call with specific star ratings. For the keepers, I have it set to five stars, duplicates to two stars, standalone to four, and low rated to one star. Using a rating system is super important for this process. There are a couple of other options. You can do flags or colored labels. Once you have the settings how you like, click save, and then go on to upload. It shouldn't take too long to call. It all depends on the size of the wedding that you're editing. You'll get an email confirmation once it's done. As you can see, it's already ripping through this really fast. It shows how much time you have left up here. You can see it count through all the photos, the percentage until it's done. Once it's done, you can go on to review calling. Imagine has an AI calling studio here where you can review how it rated each photo. You can change the ratings if you like. And do all the necessary changes before you head on to the editing. All right, so let's move on and edit these 941 photos. All right, so before we move on to editing, you're gonna to wanna to choose your AI profile. There are some additional AI tools that you can add to the editing process. All the beta options are free while they're in beta and the other ones vary in price. So for my specific style, 
A lot of these things are subjective, so I'm not gonna add it into the editing process. But depending on your style, you might wanna add the crop, straighten, smooth skin. There are tons of different options here. White and teeth, that's always a good option. All right, so I'm gonna edit these photos. All right, when it's ready, you'll get an email notification. Click on download to review. Then download edits. And open Lightroom catalog. In Lightroom here, you can go over all your edits and fine tune them even further if necessary. Now remember how we added the star ratings when we did the calling process? Well, down here you can click four stars or higher and it'll show you all your edited photos. Now let's go through some before and afters and see how Imagine AI did on the editing process. Starting with some bridal prep here. Here's how the before image looked unedited, just the raw photo. And now with the edit that has been applied, this is how it looks. Let's look at another one here, before and after. Let's look at some different portions of the day now. Here's one from the portrait session. This is the before image. Now after it has been edited. It's looking pretty good. I would say because of the green cast from the, the leaves and the grass surrounding, maybe we would change the tint just a little bit. Brings a little bit of life back into their skin tones. Let's look at another before and after. Here's the image before and then after it's edited. Before and after during the ceremony, before, after. This one here is during the reception. This is the before, that's the after. And lastly, let's look at one from the dancing. This is the before, that's the after. All right, so overall, Imagine AI did a really good job with the calling and with the editing of the whole gallery. Once you've done your final tweaks on the gallery, which you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, for quality control, you're gonna go back over to Imagine and upload final edits. This will help Imagine AI learn and develop your style even better to enhance your personal profile. Now, like we just saw, Imagine AI did a great job, but of course you're gonna wanna go through the whole gallery once or twice. Make sure that no important moments were left out and that it's cohesive all the way through. AI editing will save you a lot of time, but I still think it's super important that you don't fully rely on it. As a creative artist, there are some intentional choices that you may make and taking some time to go through and do some finishing touches is always important. I think the amount of finishing touches that you'll do in the end all depends on what type of photography that you do. Weddings are one of the most important days of your client's life, so it may require a bit more personal editing than say real estate photography. But as you saw, Imagine AI can increase your productivity significantly and free up more time for you so that you can focus on different aspects of your business to give your clients the best possible experience. So guys, don't forget to click the link in the description if you wanna get going with 1500 free edits. I think AI photo editing is a game changer for our industry. I hope this video gave you some confidence and insight to see how AI editing can actually help your photography business. It's like having an assistant that is learning the exact way that you do your editing so that it can emulate it and produce high quality results for you. Of course, you're the artist at the end of the day and you have the final say on how it looks. But having Imagine AI come along you and provide that service is a huge Huge help. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Imagine AI has further resources and video tutorials that will go even more in depth and show you how to use each feature of their app. Everything you need will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.